So this is, this video is going to give you a quick rundown how to use AutoCAD Electrical to draw schematics um, for a PLC control circuit. Um, there are guys and gals out there that do this a lot better than I do. This is just a quick and dirty, just for the sake of class. So download AutoCAD Electrical and install it on a personal computer or get access to it. If you have a, a student a student EDU email address or an instructor email address in my um, case, uh, you can download this for free and install it. You might set up an account through uh, Autodesk, but this is a good way of getting your hands dirty and getting things set up. There. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to start a drawing. Just go with me. There's probably easier ways, but I'm just going to try to walk it through as low end dummy proof as possible. So I'm going to start a drawing and it gets me to this, but the, but what I need to do first is create a new project. Everything gets stored in projects in AutoCAD Electrical. So I'm going to do PLC1, uh, I don't know, PLC1 stoplight. Hit OK. And now that should show up in your project manager on the side here. It's good to get everything used to doing everything in projects. You could keep drawing, but what I'm going to do next is under that stoplight, I'm going to highlight it and go to New Drawing. I give the drawing a name, so because you can do Panel or Schematic, so I'm just going to do PLC uh, Schematic or PLC CH because I don't want to embarrass myself in spelling Schematic, even though it's right there in front of me on to my right, so I will do PLC Schematic. Um, hit OK. Now, oh, the other thing is it's going to ask you for a template. Hit browse and just do the base template. Um, you could do either one. I, I would do maybe this AutoCAD Electrical because it gives you the title page on the side. So AutoCAD, Auto, uh, AC CAD Electrical, hit OK, open. This is going to default for your computer. Hit OK. And now, lo and behold, you got the nice little Autodesk set up here and title block that you can go in and edit. But this gives you the nice look, the nice everything. So what we're going to do is a simple stoplight. OK, so first things first, we're going to go up to schematic this um, in the ribbon and we're going to draw a ladder. We're going to insert a ladder. Uh, we're going to do a single phase ladder. Keep the spacing at 0.75, hit OK, and we're going to go ahead and draw the ladder. We can move things around later, so I'm going to draw a bunch of rungs. And if in using your mouse, the middle button, the middle button in your mouse, you can scroll in. If you press in on the mouse, you can pan around um, and if you right click that's one thing that that'll bring up one page just if you best thing is have a mouse is what I'm saying so we can start adding things in but let's first add our PLC and I'm gonna expand this a little bit so if you want to expand this hold down the the right hold down the right click on your mouse and this little window will show up and I'm gonna just hit scoot and I can expand that out and make it longer okay so and you can see I made it longer and we'll just do it that way for the time being I'm gonna scroll in and we're gonna do a basic stoplight um, on our PLC but we have an input card and an output card so that's why I made it bigger so the first things first is let's put let's put in our input card and what we're gonna do is go up to the insert PLC per parametric and I am going to put in a 1769 discrete input or digital input because in our labs, I have this input card, syncing input. I'm going to do OK, and I'm going to place that right where the X and make sure it highlights up at the top. Go ahead, place this in. It's going to ask me for my spacing. I'm going to keep the default. Um, what type, We'll name the module. I will name it stoplight. Okay, beginning address, you can do whatever you want here. I'm just do I input and hit OK, and it's going to go through and default everything for you. And, he, and do I want a decimal? I'm going to go decimal, not octal. And if you scroll in, you can see it gives me the, the, the tag name and everything um, already pre address. It gives me, gives me the, and I think this is a mistake, it's not micro logic. Um, 
it's control logic. So um, at a component, see it's a micro logic. Let's do call that control logic or compact logic. You can go and you, if you want, and at this point, let me go back to what I just did there. I, I see how this highlighted on my mouse. If I right click and hold and go to edit component, I can go in and start identifying all the, all the inputs. So if this is my input. I can go in and give it a description of um, start button. I can go in here and do a stop button. And you don't have to worry about the caps locks is going to default the caps lock. Um, walk this way. Whatever you want to put in there. You have to talk this way. You can tell I grew up in the 90s listening to Aerosmith. Um, once I hit OK, you can see that those now are identified right here on the side here. So go next thing is now let's actually put in some push buttons. And if you have wires that if you have wires that you don't want, go up to this trim wire tool and just click the wire and it'll go away, which in this case we want it to go away. Now don't trim this one because we want this to actually operate. But since we don't have all these inputs and outputs wired in, and I think, yep, I still got the trim. Oh, if you lose sight of it, just go back, click it again. Trim wire, trim wire, and now that's cleaned up. Ah, uh, that's not hurting anything, so I'll keep that there. Um, and if hit escape on your keyboard and get get rid of that, okay? So there's that. But again, these inputs will all be on. So we need to actually put push buttons in there. So go up to your icon menu. And this is how allows us to put in components. So I'm going to go push button here. And I'm going to do a normal open push button. And I'm going to just place it right in line. Now, hopefully, it will go through. You can say push button. You can give it a name, start, PB. Hit OK. And if there's no line going through it, that means you've attached it to the rung. Otherwise, you it's going to look funky. So I'm going to put in another icon. At this time, it would be a normal push button because, heck, that's, oops, um, escape because I messed up. Because that's what stop buttons are, are normally closed. So let's do a normally, let's do a normally closed mushroom head because that's what it should be. And make sure it lines up. Man, I'm going to call this stop. There it is. Um, and yes, you OCD people can line it all up, but this is just, sh and I can show you how to nudge later or, or line things up. I'm just going to put things in there. And let's do two more push buttons icon menu. Or let's do a selector switch. Why not? So here's a selector switch. So uh, a two, let's do a two position return, uh, or let's do a three position, normally open. Oh, which one, which one, which one? Let's do the, man, choices, choices, choices. Let's do this one here. And we can put that in there um, and call it and call selector switch three and just give it a name of walk. And then I'll do icon menu. Let's do icon menu. Do the other side of the selector switch. So, whoops, escape. Escape and selector switch. Open. Uh, 
Eh, just throw that in there. Again, you, uh, I'm just showing what can be done. So there's that there. It probably is a different selector switch, but we'll just go with it. But yeah, there's my basic inputs and my PLC. So let's repeat the process for our output. So let's go to ladder drawler, one single phase, and let's draw a ladder over here. Okay. Again, I, I want to give myself a little more room, so I'm going to right click and hold and do scoot. And I'm resisting, uh, I can't, uh, resisting saying boot scoot boogie, which I already did. And we're going to add in our output card. Let's go to the insert PLC param, uh, param, and we're going to do an output card, discrete output. In this case, it's a DC, it's a uh, 16 point DC. And this is this one here. And once again, we can just kind of, and since this is an output card, I'm going to kind of nudge it a little more to the to the, the beginning part of the rung. And we'll call this still again stoplight because that's the processor. Stoplight. But in this case, I want the beginning address to be one because before it was a, a zero. Well, I should make this two actually. Let me make this two. Should have made the other one one. You live, you learn. Because this would be slot two. We want to do decimal. And now, up, oh. yep. Again, MicroLogix, we can right click on here. And let's add a component and call it Compact Logic. Well, first, let's make the first address zero. Sorry, I should have done that zero because it's first address of the card. Um, and it's decimal. But that's easy to fix so out zero but I will right click on here at a component and change because the the slot number that that can be changed location insulation uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now but I will say logic or compact logic okay and so VDC plus in, you can see all this here. And since I have six lights, I'm going to be putting them in. I'm going to trim my wires up. I got to keep the common there. I'm going to trim, trim up to five or six, I'll put six. Well, I got, I mean, I'll put five. Okay. So there's my, there's my card. And I'm going to go back in the icon menu and I'm going to find lights. So pilot lights. And notice I got a bunch of these colors. So I'm going to do red. And I'm going to throw that in there. But I'm going to call this one east, west, red. Because it's a stoplight. East, west. I could probably edit my, I should edit my, and once I put that in, out of my components to put the, the, the tagging names in. So icon menu. Number. Yellow. And I think you get the gist, uh, the gist. If I right click edit component, um, I can go in for description and say east, west, red, light. Okay, and you can see that shows up there. But that's identifying everything. Edit component. Um, description. Yellow light. And you can go on from there. Now, one other thing that we need to add, and if we need to, if you want, if you click, uh, left click, and then draw a box, you can nudge things back or set, keep your space. Um, I can then right click on, hold the right, or 
hold this and I can do the move command. It's a little bit, easy, you know, you can do this move. You can go up here and do move circuit. Um, this is kind of tedious. So move circuit, draw the box, hit enter. Now it's going to ask you to select an object. I would hit shift, um, right click, and then hit center, and it will allow you to move everything. It's kind of, it's kind of funky. But here I might do, I might save my space a little bit. Highlight this and nudge back. Shoot, I mean. I'll do all. And we'll, we'll scoot that back this way to save space. And right click, right click, ladder. As you will see, I need more space. And let me move again. Select move circuit. Highlight, hit enter, because I always forget this step. Hit enter, and then click on a spot to move it from. And I'll move this over because I do need to put in one more ladder. And now this is done. You know, that's all we have. We could do the power supply, but that gets a little more complicated because it goes from AC to DC. And if you can figure it out, so be it. But if you can at least do this for me, that you're in the in a good ballpark. And this could get you better set up for wiring and understanding the wiring. Thank you and have a good day. I forgot to say how to submit this. Go up to the printer, which isn't a printer, Printer, it's a plotter, because we plot, we don't print. So hit hit this uh, little print button up top. Um, if you don't find it, look for that little arrow. Um, I always do it to ANSI A, what, uh, this here, because that's our sheets of paper. Um, this here. Uh, doesn't have a printer, but what I would do is do something like Microsoft to print PDF if you have it, because that is what we're going to plot to is the printer. You can change the properties of it to, uh, you know, landscape, which would be better, you know, or keep it as is. Uh, so, let, you know, that's your letter size. You know, just hit none. Uh, that's fine, but at least do this uh, and hit apply to layout, hit OK, and it should come out to, uh, and yes, I probably could do a better job by just trying to get you something to turn in. And that's going to tell you where to save it to. Project. And I will just save it to the, to the desktop or by downloads so I can find Save as, that should come up. That was a real quick and dirty, and if I mess something up, sorry. You should get something down here that says plot, publish, job completed, and you should be able to open it. So if I go to my downloads, It's up at the top, and I open it, and voila. And there it is. It is sideways, but that can be fixed at post, but at least it's on PDF that you can submit. So... Awesome. Have a good day.